So um, we're here at the Ulugombak Rainforest and uh, Jimmy um, has actually spotted something really interesting here. And so what we are looking at are a bunch of flies, um, Drosophila flies, uh, swarming around this um, white fungus. And I'm just going to uh, zoom back a little here just to let you take a look at it. And now I suspect that these fungus, uh, fungi, uh, might be bioluminescent. And so what we're going to do is we're going to probably come back and take a look at it later tonight. And so the uh, mechanism through which these mushrooms achieve their bioluminescence is actually quite interesting. And so what is happening uh, inside of these mushrooms is um, that there is a chemical reaction going on between the luciferin molecules and an enzyme known as luciferase. And so the interaction between the molecules and the enzyme causes the process of oxidation, which in turn uh, generates really high amounts of energy that sort of builds up in the luciferin molecules. Uh, but as the molecule gradually returns to its ground state, uh, what happens is the energy is dissipated in the form of cold green light, which is pretty much what we are looking at here. So we're actually back at the mushroom site and it's um, now 7 a.m. of the following morning. So it's obviously um, getting brighter, uh, but not yet too bright. And um, as you can see, um, the mushrooms have all but lost uh, their bioluminescence at this point. Uh, but what you can also see um, quite clearly here is that the flies from yesterday are really going crazy at it again. And uh, what's more interesting, I think, is what I'm focusing on right now, uh, which is this really cool uh, prehistoric looking insect um, that is called a platerodrillus um, or trilobite beetle. And actually, if you um, go back to some of the photos that I was sharing earlier, you can actually make out the outline of the beetle. Um, which has likely been feeding on these mushrooms all night. And um, I suppose uh, one of the thoughts that we are having right now um, is sort of considering the role of the mushroom's bioluminescence in attracting these various insects um, that we can see um, here, which are probably agents of spore dispersal. Um, and there were um, actually many um, that I didn't quite capture on film, and so some of the other invertebrates that we encountered last night included snails, slugs, um, some tiny moths, some I think, yeah, um, and various um, katydids uh, and crickets as well. And so I think it is pretty obvious um, that the flies are a major contender uh, sort of in this equation. Um, but I think it will also be interesting to see um, if the other invertebrates actually do play a role in the dispersion of the glowing fungus. Um, anyway, uh, that's all I've got on the glowing mushrooms for now. Uh, and in the meantime, mm, let me know. What did you think of the mushrooms? Uh, have you encountered them before? Um, I would really love to hear your experiences. So do um, feel free to share them in the comments section below. Till next time, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our page to receive uh, new content weekly. And I'll see you guys around.